Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do exponents and powers. Introduction. In our previous classes, we have studied about the exponential notation of natural numbers. In this class, we shall continue our discussion and shall study about the integral exponent and the rational number, the laws of exponent of rational numbers. Also, we shall study the scientific notation dealing with the large and small numbers. But before moving on, let us quickly recall our knowledge gained in the previous class. So, first is exponential notation. We know that 4 multiplied by 5 times can also be written as 4 raised to the power 5 and read as 4 raised to the power 5 or 5th power of 4. It is 4 is to the power 5, the integer here integer is 4 is called the base and 5 is called the exponent or index or power. In the same way, in minus 9 is to the power 3, here minus 9 is the base and 3 is the exponent. We call the notation for writing the product of integer multiply by itself several times. Exponent notation of power notation. Like here, suppose it is 4 is to the power 3. So here 4 is the base and 3 is power or exponent. Next is integral exponent of the rational numbers. As told earlier, the product of the rational number multiplies several times by itself can be expressed in the exponential notation. For example, 2 upon 3 multiplied by 2 upon 3 multiplied by 2 upon 3 multiply by 2 upon 3 means 2 upon 3 multiply by 4 times. Same number say can also be written as 2 upon 3 is to the power 4 where 2 upon 3 is called the base and 4 is called the exponent. So we can say that p upon q is to the power n can be written as p upon q multiply by p upon q multiply by p upon q n time because power can be n. Next is note to remember. Minus 1 is to power n equals to 1 when n is even numbers. Minus 1 is to power n equals to minus 1 when n is odd number. Clear? Next is positive integral exponent of a rational number. Let a upon b any rational number and n be the positive integer. Then a upon b is to power n that is equals to a upon b multiply by a upon b multiply by a upon b n time. Clear? a is to power n upon b is to power n b like sakte where a upon b is the base and n is exponent. Thus a upon b is to power n can be written as a is to power n upon b is to power n for every integer n. Now we will take an example expand each of the following and also write base and exponent. So first one is 3 is to power 5. So here solution is 3 is to power 5, power 5 m that means 3 multiplied by 3 5 times. So here base is 3 and exponent or power is 5. Understand? Next is laws of exponent positive exponents. First law. If p upon q is any rational number and m and n are any two positive integer, then p upon q is to power m multiplied by p upon q is to power n. That is equals to p upon q is to power m plus n because base same hai. Both have the same base p upon q. Power is different so power will be next is second law. If p upon q is any rational number and m and n are any two positive integer then p upon q is to power m divided by p upon q is to power n so here again base is same division mein hai that means power kya ho jayengi? subtract ho jayengi. so p upon q m minus n where m is greater than n understand next is third law if p upon q is any non zero rational number and m n r are any two positive integer then p upon q is to power m 
divided by p upon q to the power n that is equals to 1 upon p upon q to the power n minus m here m is less than n understand next is fourth law if p upon q is any rational number and m and n are two positive integer then p upon q is to the power m and whole power is n so here power will be multiply p upon q is to the power m n next is fifth law for a non zero rational number p upon q we have p upon q is to the power 0 that means 1 means kisi ki power 0 hai its value will be 1 next is sixth law a p upon q and r upon s r two rational number and m is the positive integer then p upon q is to power m multiply by r upon s to power n here powers are same but base are different so what will do p upon q into r upon s whole power m understand next is note to remember in general minus 1 is to power n that is equals to 1 If n is the even integer and minus one, if n is odd integer, अगर power even होगी तो value positive होगी and power odd है तो value negative होगी. Numbers can be expressed in expanded form by using the exponent. If a upon b is any non-zero rational number and m is any positive integer, then a upon b is to power minus m that is equals to b upon a. क्या हो जाएगा रिवर्स हो जाएगा बी ऊपर आ जाएगा ए नीचे चले जाएगा दैट इज पावर एम और वी कैन राइट बी इज टू पावर एम अपॉन ए इज टू पावर एम द लॉस ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स आर ट्रू इवन इफ ए एंड बी आर इंटीजर बिकॉज ऑल द इंटीजर्स आर रैशनल नंबर्स नाउ विल टेक एन एग्जांपल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सिक्सटीन इज टू पावर थ्री बाई टू एज वी नाउ दैट सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एज पावर ऑफ टू टू इज टू पावर फोर सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इज टू पावर फोर मीन्स टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू दैट इज सिक्सटीन एंड होल पावर इज थ्री बाय टू सो टू इज टू पावर फोर दैट इज सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री बाय टू सो हेयर Three to the six, so two to the power six. That is equals to sixty-four. That is our answer. Next is exercise ten point one. Expand each of the following and write base and the exponent. Seven is to power eight. So seven is to power eight. Here base, base will be seven. And exponent that means power exponent to jaga eight. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. We move to next topic. Next is radicals and radicands. Let n be the positive integer and x and y be the rational numbers such that x equals to y to the power one by n, or can be written as x equals to n root y to form y equals to 1 upon n is called the exponent form and the form n root y is called the radical form of the sign root is the called the radical sign so root yahan pe kya hai radical sign the number x is called the index or the radical of y called the radicands so here x kya hai that is radical and y is called radicand Let x be any rational number and m and n be any positive rational numbers. So then, x is to power m upon n. That is equals to x to power m whole power one upon n. Because n kya tha division me. Or nth root of x is to power m. That is equals to x is to power minus m n. Or we can write it as negative a power. So nature will be one upon x to the power m, and whole power one upon n. Understand? Now we'll take an example. Find the value following. So 
सो फर्स्ट वन इज थ्री फोर्टी थ्री इज टू पावर टू बाई थ्री एंड होल पावर वन बाय टू क्लियर सो थ्री फोर्टी थ्री कैन बी रिटर्न एज सेवन टू पावर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई पावर क्या टू बाई थ्री एंड होल पावर वन बाई टू ना उसको सॉल्व करेंगे जो ब्रैकेट के अंदर है सो थ्री से थ्री कैंसिल हो जाएगा सेवन इज टू पावर टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन बाई टू सो वन बाई टू है टू से टू कैंसिल हो जाएगा सेवन इज टू पावर वन दैट मीन्स सेवन दैट इज आर आंसर नेक्स्ट इज एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट टू एक्सप्रेस ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन एक्सपोनेशियल फॉर्म सो हेयर रूट फिफ्टीन सो हेयर वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द नंबर इन एक्सपोनेशियल फॉर्म वेन एवर वी रिमूव द रूट द पावर बिकम वन बाय टू सो हेयर फिफ्टीन इज टू पावर वन बाय टू दैट इज आर आंसर सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज नेक्स्ट इज यूज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट टू एक्सप्रेस लार्ज A small number standard form. To write very small number in standard form, we use following step. Step one: obtain the number and see whether the number is between one or ten, or is it less than one. If the number is between one and ten, then we write the product of the number itself, and ten is to power zero. For example, if we have the number six. We write it as in standard form six into ten to the power zero. Ten to the power zero means one six into one that is equals to six. Step three: If the number is less than one, then move the decimal point to the right so that there is just one digit on the left side of the decimal point. Write the given number as the product of The number so obtained and ten to the power minus n, where n is the number of places of decimal point, and been moved to the right. The number obtained is standard form of given number. For example, to express zero point four five seven nine, the standard form of decimal point is moved through one place only to the right, so that there is just one digit on the left of the decimal point, like here. Zero point four five seven nine है, so in standard form there should be one digit on the left of decimal. So we'll write it four point five seven nine into ten to the power minus one because we have moved the decimal point one place to the right. So that is equals to four point five seven nine ten to the power minus one. Next is note to remember. To express the large number in standard form, we have like here, fifteen ten to the power eleven. So we'll write in standard form that can be written as one point five into ten to the power twelve. That is our answer, and that is the standard form. Next, it's comparing very large and very small numbers. We can also compare very large and very small number with the help of given example. The diameter of sun is one point four into ten to the power nine meter, and the diameter of earth that is equals to one point two seven five six into ten to the power seven meter. Suppose we want to compare the distance of sun with the diameter of earth. So, one point four into ten to the power nine upon one point two seven five six into ten to the power सेवन सो पावर क्या हो जाएगी सेम बेस है डिवाइड में सब्ट्रैक्ट हो जाएगी मीन्स वन पॉइंट फोर इन टेन टू पावर नाइन माइनस सेवन अपॉन वन पॉइंट टू सेवन फाइव सिक्स सो दैट इज इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर इन टू टेन टू पावर टू और डिविजन में वही सेम नंबर आएगा सॉल्व करेंगे वन पॉइंट फोर इन टू टेन टू पावर और टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज हंड्रेड विच इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन हंड्रेड टेन So the diameter of sun is one hundred ten times the distance of the earth. Next is exercise ten point three. Express the following number in standard form. So here this is our given number. We have to write the number in standard form. In standard form, there should be only one digit to the left of the decimal. So we'll write it as four point five six. 
how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 Terrace power six day, and then we move the decimal place to the two point on the left hand side. So two zeros or bar jayenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, and ten to the power eight. That is the standard form of given number. So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is things to remember. If p upon q is any non-zero rational number and n is an integer, then p upon q to the power n can be written as p to the power n upon q to the power n. The reciprocal of p upon q is to the power n is the q upon p is to the power minus n, where n is the positive integer. If x is any rational number and m and n are positive integer, then x to the power m multiplied by x to the power n same base hai. So answer is x is to the power m plus n. X to the power m divided by x to the power n, that is equals to x to the power m minus n. Division में x to the power m and whole power is n. So I'll write x to the power m n. Clear? If x is any non-zero rational number, then X is to the power zero. That is equals to one. If x is the non-zero rational number and m is the positive integer, then x equals to one upon x is to the power m. The scientific notation of standard form of the number given as k into ten to the power n, where k is the remaining decimals, such that one is either less than Or equal to the k, or k is less than ten and n of any integer. Next is multiple choice questions. A into a into a into a. Here, a is for one hundred times. So that is equals to a is to power one hundred one. Clear? So D is the correct answer. So here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now to practice it.